well here. Okay. One, two, three. Where would you say the ball is? In the middle. On a slip. Okay, so then, Michael, we skip the, the crappy uh, memory sticks. We go for money. Um, if the ball is in the center, I give you 50 bucks. Honestly, 50 bucks, if it is in the center. However, if it's not in the center, you owe me 50 bucks. You don't want to do that. It's a pity because you would have won. <laughs> yeah, yes. Now, honestly, I mean, you see, all I did was this. So if you don't bet, it's your own fault. But my advice is, the first time you always win. The second time, you never win. Let's, let's try this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was much more complicated, right? So, Michael, what would you say now? Well, but then there is a theory that um, it's concealed under the shell and closest to the money. That's a theory that uh, is very, you know, does that change your mind? <laughs> it doesn't. It's a pity. I was just trying to be nice again. <laughs> Usually, people would never ever give away the secret of this game um, we are doing, okay? Um, this is an Italian company, and, and uh, the Italians, they're masters in this game, obviously. And um, so this is what, what I'm going to share with you. Uh, you will find yourself in Italy, in, in Rome, or any other place, and you will find uh, the dealers dealing with uh, European money, that's euros a couple of hundred, and most of the time what they do is they steal the ball from underneath the shell, okay, so when they place it, they steal the ball and then they uh, conceal it under the, under the money. So when Michael says it must be in the middle, of course the performer goes like this, no, it's not in the middle, it's, it would have been over here and he replaces the ball. So the average clever guy comes to the result that um, you cannot win this game. You always lose. You can't win. You can win. I, I can tell you the secret. There's only a tiny, tiny secret. Next time you see one of those guys in the streets, you wait until he's done with the shopping. And then you go like this. I believe it is not here and here. And you turn over two. Because then the guy, who's he has the ball in his hands. He must act, right? Either he just gives away that it's a fake or he replaces the ball and gives you the money. However, Michael, that's what they're going to do. But, but Michael will make the experience that although he earns 100 euro, at the very next corner, he will make an intercultural exchange. <laughs> People will try to convince you that the money you just got is not yours. And uh, so, so it is up to you whether you would like to, to play this game or not. Um, tonight, or today, I'm offering you a similar thing. You, uh, what's your first name? Gibrian. Gibrian, that's a cool name, wow. Gibrian, um, we play for real money now. We play for one, U one, one American dollar. Only join in the game if you can afford to lose. Okay, because I don't want to ruin your whole life. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will um, only use two nutshells. Okay, we get away with one. And I promise Gibrian that I'm not going to shuffle. I'm not going to mix. So you will always know where the ball is and still pick a wrong decision. Hopefully. Okay. So Michael, take uh, the shell and place it over the ball. Yeah, Michael. I want you to watch, Gilbert. Um, now, now you take one of the glasses here and place it over the shell. And, and then you, you take the cup, examine it, and you place it over the glass. So triple security system. Hank, uh, yeah, you would see. Um, this is so uh, you can examine this, uh, place it, stack it the way Michael did before. Hey? Very good. And Gilbrian, you, you always watch. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> However, we can also use this one. This is totally up to you. I want you, Gilbrian, to hold your hand here, and Hank or Michael, you hold your hand here. Okay, so we get rid of this one. So it's a 50 50 thing. I will not shuffle. I will just stand here and talk, and the most important thing is, I will not reach in and manipulate something you will uncover yourself. Okay, because that, that's the critical moment. Right, no, it can't like that. So, um, hypothetically, Gilbrian, where should the ball be? Under this one. Now, logically, if it is under here, it cannot be under here. Logically. If it was here, would that be cool? Yeah. <laughs> that would that be cool. cool? So now think logically. 
they made me fly all the way from Munich, Germany to Las Vegas only to perform this miracle. This is why it is, it is very I mean, evident that it must be over here, otherwise I wouldn't be here. So if I were you, I would not only place uh, a dollar, I would take the key to my car, I would take the key to my house, and I would place my wife directly on this, where Michael has his hand on. What do you say? No, I'm still going to go. You're still going to Okay, lift, lift the cup, lift the cup, and lift the glass, and look under the uh, shell, and you will find there's nothing. All right. And Michael, you, you, can, you can check here. And, um, okay, so this is what I'm going to teach uh, you, and we are going to use a slightly bigger ball, okay, so that I... And, and we're only going to use this cup. So, Hank, for you, this is going to be the light work. Uh, can you tell me what material this aluminum cup is? It looks like here. <laughs> I picked the right one. Here. <laughs> no, no, I mean, there's so much pressure on here. Okay, we go, we go slow. We go slow, Hank. <laughs> I'm giving you, I'm giving you a little hint. Okay. <laughs> what would you say the ball is? No, it's under the cup. You need to concentrate. You need to concentrate. You need to concentrate. Um, now put the money on the table. <laughs> What do you say? If it is not under the cup and not under in the hand, it must be in the pocket. But then it's under the cup. So, so here is the secret. The ball never ever goes in the pocket. I just shoot it up the sleeve. Then it goes over the shoulder and it, it's concealed in the elbow compartment here. So when I lift the cup, nothing happens. But when I place it down, I accelerate the ball. It reaches 100 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Michael is not believing a word of that thing. Back. So, however, if I if I take this ball and I snap twice, people start applauding. You know why? Because they're so surprised that we have a tennis ball here, they just can't help. So now the problem is, I don't know whether you saw that tennis ball go underneath. You didn't, Hank. If you didn't see the tennis ball, you might have missed the second one as well. It's, just, it's almost like 3D. Right? It's, 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 it, it seems to be a miracle, but then the explanation is quite easy indeed. I am using a technique that's called... Well, this here is just a tile format. There's no cheating. Okay, that's a smart technique. However, I would love to borrow your ring. Was it precious? Be careful. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, slip, I'm slipping in tents here. Is it precious? Yes. Yeah, There's a difference. There's a difference. Yeah. But then you can double it for me. Okay. Now watch this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I snap my fingers. Okay. One, two, three. Pow. And to the untrained eye, it looks as if the ring is gone. Okay. See that? And it, it reminds me a bit on the stock market. It's not gone, it's just somebody else has it. <laughs> right. So, um, I, 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 I took care of it, I took care of it. Watch this. In my backside pants pocket, what's your name? Would you like to grab in my backside pants pocket? <laughs> no, okay. I saw some disgust in your eyes. But in here is um, my wallet. My wallet contains all the keys. And among the keys, you can see that on a hook there is, is the ring. Huh? Cool, huh? Well, yeah, sometimes people say, wow, I need a drink. you need a drink, not, not that early. Applause, guy, applause. <laughs>